What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with another 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the WWE Elite Series 104 Dakota Kai and AJ Styles figures, man. This AJ Styles figure right here is legendary, man. It is legendary. And I say it's legendary because if you guys were unaware, they updated this man with the Sin Cara Elite Torso. I don't even have words to describe my experience when I saw that plastered across social media when they unveiled that figure. I literally crumbled to my knees in my kitchen floor, as sad as that sounds. And it was a glorious day because I have been begging Mattel for years and years and years and years and years for them to update this man with a bigger torso. So much of the fact that my AJ Styles figure collection, I've always just kind of sworn it off. You guys always see my Seth Rollins, my Finn Balor's, my John Cena's, my Dolph Ziggler's, and I always have these crazy collections. I've always sworn off AJ Styles doing his collection that way and making it as pristine and as immaculate as possible because I didn't want to torso swap him. I didn't want to have to torso swap 62 different AJ Styles figures. I didn't want to have to fix up and fix the mistake. But now, that without real customization, like yes, I would have to take this torso and put it on those figures, but I don't have to add the decals and I don't have to do these other things, I can finally fix up my original AJ Styles Elite figures. I have a shish ton of AJ Styles, but this one right here, besides the Ultimate, this one right here is changing the game. Also, I posted to social media when this figure was unveiled. I think it was about six or seven days or something like that after this figure was shown off at WrestleMania weekend. At the Superstore, they did the panel. They showed the render image of AJ Styles. Then about a few days later, I posted to my social media on Instagram. It got like 3,500 or something like that likes, comments, a agreeing with me on the change to the AJ Styles torso. I said, Mattel, it's time to change the AJ Styles torso. This doesn't fit him. Change it. Been begging him for years, but I finally made a public announcement on Instagram. I've said it on the channel for years. If you guys have been around, you know this. And then they unveiled the figure and they made the change. I have a couple theories. Either one, they knew that the Solo would take a lot of heat, so they fixed AJ Styles so that we wouldn't pay attention to the Solo Sokoa heat. Or, they took that, noticed that it looked good, and were like, you know what, Brad? I like that. And they they fixed it based off of that post and based off of, you know, the, the comments that we've made. So I don't know. There's a bunch of different things there, man. But this is a legendary review. And I know I've been rambling, but hopefully you guys stuck around. Nonetheless, we're diving into Elite 104, Dakota Kai, and AJ Styles. You guys know how hyped I am for the AJ Styles here. In the red gear, no, no less. It's not a perfect figure. We'll get into that. But it's still damn good and way better than what we've seen. And then we have an upgrade to our Dakota Kai, which looks really good. I love the pink and black. I love Dakota Kai, so this is a great deal for me. Comes with a championship here. Where the hell is the championship in the freaking packaging, Brad. That's kind of weird. And then this shirt's not accurate, even though this one's not as big of a deal. That's kind of a stupid. Nonetheless, front viewing window of the talent here. Nice shot of both handsome talents on the side. Shot of her here with the title. I mean, what are we doing? And then you got AJ, rest of the figures in the wave. Names on the sides. And I didn't knock over the background, Brad. So everything's good with me. Why the hell's the darkness so bad? Nonetheless, let's shut the hell up, crack these guys out of the packaging, and find out what Dakota Kai and AJ Styles from Elite 104 are all about. Actually, if you guys would like to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Wrestlingfigures.com. Always appreciate you guys using the code. Tag me on social media. You'll get a shout out. So here's Dakota Kai and AJ Styles out of the packaging, man. I'm really enjoying both of these, actually. I think they're going to do decently on our figure ranking, of course, coming. You know, we'll do my damn thoughts on Elite Series 104, of course. But AJ Styles and Dakota Kai, man, I, I, I enjoy both talents. I like both these figures so far. I'm getting a lot of enjoyment out of them. And that is a way you want to be in a figure review, man. I don't want to be having headaches. I don't want to see Solo Sokoa running around over here. I cannot wait to dive into these figures, man. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's dive into Dakota Kai's accessories and Dakota Kai, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at AJ Styles accessories and AJ Styles. So for Dakota Kai's accessories, man, you don't really get much, man. You get interchangeable hands and a damn microphone. Now, this microphone is something we've seen a few times. I don't know if it's a new sculpt or something, but it's got the modern WWE logo on there. It looks good. It looks nice. It looks clean. It's a good standard microphone. I don't hate this accessory. It's just not a lot. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get the mic holding hands here. No nail polish or anything, which I believe is accurate if, I, uh, if I'm serving myself correctly there. Mic holding hands. And then you get a left fist and a right hang loose hand. Or a pretending you're on the phone 
own hand. Kids today don't even know about that. But I found it weird she doesn't come with a pair of fists or a pair of hang loose hands. It's just one and then one. And then she only gets the mic. So I guess she got the half ass part of the budget. So getting into Dakota Kai, man, starting out at the head sculpt, I think it has lightness to her. You know, she's kind of making a goofy expression like she's talking to somebody or just, yeah, it's like mid conversation kind of head sculpt for Dakota Kai. But I like it. I think it captures her likeness with the eyes and the head shape and everything like that. Hair looks good. I like the blonde with the with the pink. It really fits nicely. It ties in nice with the with the gear. Going down I always talk about women's figures and how they always have really unique sculpts, so I do like this, how it's all unique here. I mean, I guess if it wasn't unique, I wouldn't catch it right off the naked eye, you know what I'm saying? But I still think it looks really good here with the black and the silver and the pink. Got her strap going around her neck there and down the top. You do get the diaphragm joint there. And then down here on the waist, which I think is interesting, she has this little rubber piece, which is loose, but it's tight fit, so you can't, like, really move it that much. It's tight fit to the waist there, which is nice. And then she does have her black and pink gear. And then they they just kind of colored her upper legs like this orangish brown color to simulate the stockings look which I think is kind of odd wish they would just like use the same leg color or use her skin color go like half a shade darker and then put like you know the crosshatch pattern over the top of it I feel like would be better but she does have her tattoos over here got all of her tattoos here on the forearms and stuff like that and then she has her tattoos over there which are nice you guys know that I love tattoos so that's good and then you do have her standard knee pads on there and then they have the basic Alexa Bliss style boots which uh, I wish they'd do away with but maybe one day but I like the pattern here on the kick pads as well but uh, Dakota Kai looking pretty good here. Now for the figure, you guys know that uh, the women's figures just don't really have an ab crunch. They have the diaphragm, but that's, I mean, what <laughs> what are we looking at here? You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, uh, I think it gets the job done. The women's figures are so much better than they used to be that it, it's criminal that they were ever that damn bad. Now for your figure comparisons here is damage control, you know, not really uh, not really much of a thing, you know, coming up. But we have Io Shirai or Io Sky, and then we have Bailey here all up next to each other. Really need a new Bailey, man. Been a long damn time. Maybe we'll see one at San Diego Comic Con but this is nice. We do know that EO Sky is coming in Elite 105 I do believe so that'll be an update for her figure and that'll be really cool to see but it is nice to see these up three next to each other and her new figure looks really damn good so that'll be really cool to see you know those two up next to each other as well when we get to Elite 105 and maybe even Bailey coming in Elite 106 maybe or something like that to really complete the team there and then for your Dakota Kai figure comparisons here is the Royal Rumble Elite and this one's just so much better man I like this one I like the double jointed arms and the boots and the gear and like the really unique sculpts here but I am on the team Elite 104. I think the likeness is better. I like the gear better. I like that her arms are exposed. She's got tattoos, black and pink. This is nice. I like this one better, but it is cool to see these up next to each other. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess you could head swap it if you didn't, you know, like her mid-conversation face. But I think it gets, you know, I think it does suffice. And then for AJ Styles accessories, we're still continuing the rubber shirt mold. Really wish they could have gave him the Solo Sokoa treatment with the full cloth goods without Velcro. Or even, hell, just give him Velcro. You know, we saw that on his WrestleMania Boneyard match figure. He got the OC shirt. Would have been fine with that shirt again. Or this shirt, just print that graphic on that shirt maybe. Or hell, give us the vest that came with the... Ultimate Edition AJ Styles, or give us the same shirt that came with that Ultimate Edition AJ Styles, because on the back of the packaging, he's literally wearing that vest and that shirt that came with the Ultimate Edition, but in this gear. So I don't know. This is a trend that needs to die in 2023, man. We got the AJ Styles torso to die. Well, I don't know if it's completely dead. It could raise back up like the damn Undertaker any moment, I guess, but we're going to hope that the AJ Styles Daniel Bryan torso is a trend of the past. This needs to die as well, man. The rubber shirts with the connectors on the back. Once you take this off, man, you're not getting that back together. Not easily, I can tell you that. I don't like the rubber shirts, never been a fan. I just would rather order a custom one. And these go in a damn drawer or in my crowd. That's it. I, I don't have a use for them, and that's the bottom line. Now, one thing I do love about AJ Styles figures, especially with the new Ultimate Edition, he did get a new glove sculpt mold here that's like individually for AJ Styles. So you get the black palms, which are cool. I really wish they'd figure out a way to get the print on the inside of the mic holding hands or other hands other than than just you know the palm pose but the AJ looks good on there you got the red and black and it does have some sculpted detail in there and he has red pegs so the gloves look good to me I don't have an issue with this you also get the palm pose or like the p1 pose you guys know that yeah let's go ahead and do it you guys know how it is like the college football touchdown celebration from like 2012 is what this looks like you got the p1 on there and these look good same sculpt you got the AJ on there these look nice 
And then we get the two sweet sculpted hands here, which I can't remember if this came with the Ultimate Edition. I'm sure it did. But to have the two sweet hands with the sculpted glove is really, really cool. I think they do a good job on these, and I'm, I'm appreciating all this. Really good sculpted glove hands. So diving into AJ Styles, man, this is a beautiful sight. I am just loving this. The Ultimate Edition head sculpt is phenomenal, pun intended. Every time I say it in an AJ Styles review, it's intentional. Every time. Hair sculpt looks good. Face sculpt looks good. Looks just like AJ Styles. And here it is, Brad. Oh, what a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. I didn't think I'd ever see it. And here it is. The Sin Cara torso with the AJ Styles Elite, man. It's like it was made for AJ Styles. It looks just like his torso. Have you ever seen it? I mean, stomach and chest hair would bring it full circle. And I'm imagining one day we're going to see that. We're going to see that one day. We're going to see that. But for today, we're going to celebrate this W. I love that they put the tattoo up here and then on the lower part they put the tattoo there so you don't break up the tattoo genius thank god you also have the phenomenal forearm here you have the phenomenal p1 armband on there i'd really love to see them sculpt that on and remove it like these but he does have the sculpted gloves you got styles on there a lot of details in this aj styles that i'm really enjoying uh aj styles figures usually have that though you know I'd like to see them experiment with, like, the Buddy Murphy crotch or something sometimes and, like, repaint it just to get some textures and sculpt and, you know, some, some actual stuff going on on the crotch piece. But the gear looks really good. You got the AJ on this side, and then on the other side you do have the P1 with the same, like, samurai-style logos. You got the Japanese lettering and characters there, and then you have the little, uh, like this, uh, I don't even know what you'd call that shish, but it's going down the sides in the back there. The red tights look good, and then you have the P1 with the red, black, and white, which I could see us, you know, using using these on other AJ Styles elites, perhaps, you know, doing a leg switch and whatever, but he has knee pads, he has the, the Sin Cara torso, and this is just a beautiful time to be alive. I saw some people saying that maybe his arms look long. I'm not seeing that. I think that he's getting the job done, man. I mean, he's got a really tight waist, he's got a beautiful face, he's looking really damn good. I, I wish they'd give him the open elbow pad, we still can't get that just yet. I mean, I've been waiting on that for years, but let's take a look at some AJ Styles action figure comparisons. And for our first comparison, we are going to take a look at the Ultimate Edition here. And you guys can see it's got beefier thighs and the formula is different here and the skin tones are different. So I honestly, I think I need to buy another one of these and put this torso over on the Ultimate because, you know, they cut the tattoo here. It's not perfect by any means. Like, I love this Ultimate Edition AJ Styles, but I think they could make it so much better that, uh, yeah, I, I think that this could be improved upon, you know? And I think, well, you guys can see these legs with this crotch make this figure taller, as you guys can see. It's like half an inch taller there. Or I say half an inch, but the Ultimate Edition is too tall. It just simply is too tall. I, I would love to see what this would look like if you put this torso over here and this torso over here, just to see with these gloves and all that stuff. You could even put these arms over on this figure as well, just to see what it looks like. But it is a cool comparison shot to see these. But now let's get into the Elite figure comparisons and see where you guys stand. So for your AJ Styles figure comparisons, man, I have every single Elite AJ Styles, but I didn't bring them down here. And you guys will notice that we have sort of a mix-up of a bunch of different AJ Styles here because, again, I haven't put that much detail and fix-upness into my AJ Styles figure collection because I was so sick of it, man. I'm not torso swapping all these effing things. I'm just not doing it. I'm not going to do it. But now, if I can grab these on clearance like every other AJ Styles has ever done, every other AJ Styles besides a couple, right? Like this one didn't shelf form and, and stuff like that. A lot of AJ Styles figures were really easy to come by and they, they fly like this one right here, bro. I'm pretty sure you can get this one for like $6. You wait till the freaking Ringside Collectibles Christmas sale and the Thanksgiving and the Black Friday 2.0, 3.0, 4.0 Cyber Monday sales. If this figure is up for grabs at $10 a pop or $5, hell, if it's anywhere in that range, I'd take it for $12. I'm going to buy 10 or 15 of them just so I can torso swap all these different AJ Styles Elite figures. I'm going to do it. And then I can finally fix up my AJ Styles figure collection. Oh, man. And then I'm sitting... I say, I didn't want to fix up all my figures. And then I'm literally telling you I'm going to fix them all up. But it's a different scenario because it has, like, what I mean by that is switching the torso. Like, in the past, to get this look, you would you had to buy a Sin Cara torso or Elite figures, which are not cheap. Sin Cara Elites are not cheap. Then you had to proceed to paint the torso. Then you had to proceed to put chest hair decals and tattoo decals on them after switching the torso so it was a whole lot of work to achieve the look now it's just a simple torso swap which is way better 
than the freaking laundry list of stuff you used to have to do. But you cannot look me in my face and tell me that this is not better than this. And if you do, you prefer this version? I don't know how. I don't know how. AJ Styles looks more like this. He's always looked like this in WWE. This one doesn't bother me as much because it's a throwback AJ Styles. Maybe, you know, he didn't have as much muscle. He wasn't as big then. He was kind of a cruiserweight. Modern day AJ Styles, from the time he entered WWE, this has fit him. And that's just the bottom line. And, uh, yeah, I'm just so thankful for this figure, man. This is just groundbreaking technology. Not only is it the torso, but we get the double jointed arms. Son of a bish. And speaking of that, speaking of newer articulation and speaking of being able to pose these things the best you ever can, he is the revolutionary champion, damn it. And we will crown him. We crown him. Look at him right here with his title. Look at him looking like a damn beast. My God. If you guys saw his My Damn Nation pay-per-view gear that he's going to have, one day, one day when he, when he gets to wear it, you guys are going to think it's unbelievable. It's probably, it's one of my favorite looks of a custom figure ever. But I think that pretty much wraps up our AJ Styles and Dakota Kai WWE Elite Series 104 review, man. Love these figures individually, man. I think you should grab these. AJ Styles, if you already have the Ultimate, I still think you need this one because this one actually gave him the right skin tone. And I could see people torso swapping this figure onto their Ultimate Edition. And I could see that taking place, man. I could absolutely see that. This has the correct skin tone. I think we're going to get another AJ Styles Ultimate Edition somewhere down the line. You know, whether it's a, a, an exclusive of some kind or some sort of store exclusive or maybe it's just a main elite line or main ultimate edition line figure could absolutely see that and i'd like to see them do that with a throwback aj styles and i say throwback like it wasn't just a few years ago but maybe his debut or maybe his wrestlemania 32 gear or something like that would be really cool to see but aj styles getting even in the defining moments line imagine this this figure repainted for the defining moments line would be sick as hell so we'll have to see about that I, you know, they didn't update the legs or crotch mode. Like, they didn't give them the Sin Cara crotch and upper thighs or upper legs, which I guess isn't the biggest deal. I'll still take this torso, man. This makes AJ Styles figures way more. This makes AJ Styles figures way better. I love the gear. I like the red and black. I'm not really big on, like, his OC looks, but it, this still makes for a phenomenal gear, pun intended. You got the P1 on one side, AJ on the other. Love the graphics. Love the colors. Love the torso choice. And the Ultimate Edition head sculpt repainted looks fantastic. Love that we finally got a red gear AJ Styles. And not only that, but it is on the updated torso. So I hope this is a change that we see moving forward. I think it looks fantastic. And, uh, you know, I, I think this is the right move. I, I'm going to enjoy AJ Styles' figure so much more now. And with the Dakota Kai figure, I know a lot of people missed out on her Royal Rumble Elite. One time I stumbled into my target, and it was like the only figure hanging on the peg. So I absolutely grabbed it, as you guys saw in this comparisons. But I like this figure a whole lot. I think it's a lot better than her first go-around, even if her first go-around was good. I like the likeness in the head sculpt. I love the pink and black attack, as you guys know. It's, you know, one of my favorite colors, so that works for me. And the figure just looks overall pleasant to the eye. You got the double-jointed arms, the tattoos, the pink gear, the goofy expression. I'm all for the Dakota Kai figure, so I endorse both of these. They're getting the MDT seal of approval. Go grab these, Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% to, you know, get in on all the goodness, man. But if you guys missed our other Elite Series 104 reviews or our Logan Paul Ultimate Edition review or any other figures that are coming soon, man, I feel like we've been hit with a lot of figures back to back to back. Stay tuned to the channel for all of those updates, of course. And San Diego Comic Con right around the corner. Of course, we'll be there in person reporting live. Hope to get a lot of videos and content for you guys. So stay tuned to the channel if you guys are WWE or wrestling action figure fans. Hope to get some good stuff in there. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. A huge shout out to our patron supporters. And we actually had a new sign up yesterday. You get a name drop on initial sign up, becoming an Extreme Division Championship member or higher. And our shout out's going to go to Rebuffed Cone or Rebuffed Cone. Huge shout out to you, man. Thank you for joining on to the patron group. Appreciate you guys so very much. But that is going to wrap this video up, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys if you guys appreciate the content. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. You'll never be